a very good morning to all of you welcome to a and b exam forum student based on the exam analysis uh, we are bringing few important pointers related to census 2011 and uh, student this is one of the important topic in static gk and this video will be beneficial for your any competitive examination uh let it be your ssc cgl or chsl or uh isro or drdo one or two question you will find definitely from this particular chapter okay so without wasting any time let's begin the session and the objective of today's session uh we should have objective so that's what we have uh there are two objective and the first objective is that we will see the few important pointers related to census okay so after these pointers we will have 20 mcq based on those pointer more or less okay and uh, let's begin the session okay so the very first important pointer you should know on census 2011 is that total population of india is 121 crore okay or in other word you can say it is 1.21 billion okay so 121 crore the figure you should know okay whatever i am uh, giving you the pointer these are the very basics one and at least those pointer you should know okay the second one is decadal growth rate okay like uh, after a decade uh, so what population has increased it is increased by 17.63 percentage okay so around uh, 17 or between 18 17 to 18 uh, there is a decadal growth rate from last census to census 2011 okay the third thing you should know that this population like 121 crore out of which 32 percent are living in urban areas okay and the remaining 68 percent approximately are living in rural areas or you can consider as a rural rural population okay and this is very important point a student like uh, census 2011 was actually 15th from its uh, beginning okay and it is seventh after independence okay so you can think like uh, it happened every decade so there are 15 uh, like 14 previous census were already conducted so it is very long back process and if you see the first happened in year 1881 by lord mayo this is very important we have seen uh, most of the question from these two pointers okay like uh, in uh, the earlier exams okay so 7th after independence uh, 1881 was the first census conducted by lord mayo okay coming to the important pointers uh, related to some criteria like uh, which state has the highest population lowest population which union territory has highest population and lowest population and uh, the other factors like decadal growth rate which state has seen the highest percentage lowest percentage okay like uh, with respect to density which of the state has highest density lowest density this table you take a screenshot and mug up it okay take a screenshot uh, and mug up it because this is a static part you need to somehow cram all these uh, states and union territory okay the first one is the population wise which state has the highest population it is up up is uttar pradesh you can think like that it is a very big state uh, there are many big state in fact like maharashtra are there like uh, maharashtra is there and uh, rajasthan is there but up you can think it is having much more area so the population naturally will be higher okay uh the lowest one is sikkim again it is not sikkim it is sikkim okay 
so the sikkim has the lowest population uh, again from the area perspective you can uh, consider like that again you might get confused between goa uh, manipur all those uh, state but sikkim is in fact a very uh, very uh, you can say it is a very small uh, state uh, as compared to goa and other uh, states coming to the union territory uh, and as you know delhi Uh, if you went to delhi you will find lot of crowd there so based on that analogy you can make a sense that this union territory has a highest population whereas lakshadweep uh, spelling is wrong okay lakshadweep so in lakshadweep if you see the population is very less because it is uh, you can say it is some sort of island so generally people will uh, be away from the island and that island is now a days populate was uh, uh basically uh, you can say it is uh, for the people who uh, went for vacation only uh, that is a tourist hot spot you can say so that's why its population is uh, lowest as compared to the other coming to the decadal growth rate uh, what i mean by decadal growth rate like in the previous census to this census which state has grown uh, enormously okay so meghalaya Uh, this is very strange meghalaya is in northeast region and this state has highest uh, decadal growth rate means from the last to this this state has uh, the percentage of uh, growth rate is very high whereas nagaland has the lowest okay lowest growth rate all the state have uh, uh, growth rate but this nagaland has a minimum growth rate okay again you need to cram this coming to the union territory its dadar nagar haveli is having the highest growth rate where lakshadweep has a lowest decadal growth rate coming to the density wise density as you know the number of people living in a per unit square area is basically bihar you can think like that this is uh, the area and how many people are residing in this area uh, it's basically density earlier in our uh, like uh, previous census 2001 we used to find that west bengal has a highest density but in census 2011 it is bihar bihar has the highest density okay and uh, if you see the lowest uh, density it's arunachal pradesh uh, again you need to uh, somehow make some analogy like uh, which has a high lowest and highest density coming to the union territory like uh, if you consider delhi as you know its population is very high and it is very uh, area wise it is very small so density will be definitely high so delhi has the highest density uh, if you see the union territory wise and andaman nicobar okay andaman nicobar has the lowest density coming to the sex ratio uh, uh this is uh you can relate it like if people are educated then sex ratio will be increased if people are uh, somewhat have the traditional culture or traditional philosophies then their sex ratio might be declined so kerala has a highest sex ratio and the number and figures you should know i am not telling in this particular slide but the number like what is the sex ratio in kerala and haryana that you should know okay like haryana has a lowest sex ratio coming to the union territory this is very important puducherry has the highest uh, sex ratio whereas daman diu has a lowest uh, uh, sex ratio coming to the literacy rate uh, kerala is very literate uh, many people are educated uh, you also know that most of the south indian people and especially from the malayalam side uh, they are generally very intelligent because their literacy rate is very good okay and if you see bihar bihar has literacy lit row but if you see the candidates who are preparing for uh, any exam the the num- most of them are from bihar uh because their literacy rate is uh, uh because their uh, you can say their ancestors are not educated but the youngsters which are coming from the bihar now are increasing the literacy rate since it is 2011 now it might sorry it might got changed okay so that is it okay 
coming to the next literacy rate the lakshadweep so lakshadweep has a highest rate uh, literacy rate and this is very important pointer from the union territory that literacy rate if you see in every exam they will ask one question from the literacy rate okay at least at least one question from the literacy rate literacy rate is that concept uh, which generally people uh, wants to talk okay coming to the number of sc this is very important sc schedule caste number of scs are highest in uttar pradesh whereas if you see punjab has the lowest sc okay coming to the st like people were saying that in haryana there are no st whereas mp has the highest st schedule tribes okay so this table is very important you can take a screenshot of this coming to the first question let's begin the timer also uh, so uh, side by side you can give the answer the question is very simple in india the population census is conducted every you know it is a basically a decade kind of thing so decade means uh, 10 years so the answer is 10 years a very simple one coming to the next uh, the first complete census was conducted in which year okay so student the first census was conducted in year 1881 by lord lord mayo that we have seen in the first slide quickly moving to the next question i am uh, actually interested in uh, getting the answer from you people okay what was the total population of india according to census to 2011 a very simple one in the first slide the first pointer we have seen it is 121 crore that is 1.21 billion okay so a is the right answer coming to that what was the percentage increase in population from census 2001 to 2011 that is nothing but your decadal growth rate and in the second pointer i told you that it is 17 point uh, round 6 so it has uh, rounded off so the answer is option b so those who have given option b well and good now uh, they are much good coming to the next question quickly which state has the highest population according to 2011 okay so those people who are not able to give the answer i request to go to the table and just uh, learn those points okay so which state has the highest population i already told you that uttar pradesh you can analogous to it that uttar pradesh is the highest area so highest uh, population will be uttar pradesh okay uh, not exact uh, there are certain other state also but uh, like this is analogous you don't, don't take it like uh, like measurement wise okay so like uttar pradesh is a big state so possibly it will have a uh, highest population okay which state has the lowest population according to census 2011 okay so like all these uh, state if you see all these are very small state and uh, so uh, we have already seen that sikkim is the smallest state uh, out of this and it has lowest population okay this question is uh, i am marking it as very important for any exam why they are asking about sex ratio that is number of female per 1000 males okay and we have seen the highest and lowest but the number is very important so as per census 2011 it is 940 okay 940 is the sex ratio in india coming to the next which union territory has the highest population according to census 2011 it is very simple when i give you uh, some clue like delhi is very crowded so you can make a straight right answer to this okay so delhi would be the correct answer coming to the next like uh, what was the literacy rate of india according to census 2011 this is in fact again a good question like always people are interested in literacy rate and you should know that it is 74% okay approximate 74% uh is the right answer so just note it down on your notebook it's 74% coming to the next day 
क्वेश्चन विच स्टेट हैज़ हाइएस्ट लिटरेसी रेट अकॉर्डिंग टू सेंसस टू थाउजेंड ओके सो वी हैव लॉट ऑफ हाइएस्ट एंड लोएस्ट क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स सी वेदर वी कैन गिव द आंसर so i already told you like south people are generally intelligent like uh, more specifically to kerala and tamil nadu okay but you can see literacy wise uh, kerala got on the top so kerala should be the correct answer coming to the next low literacy rate uh, you can think like that like uh, like most of the people are uneducated in the previous decade uh, like it was bihar and nowadays uh, the literacy rate of bihar is increasing but uh, census was not conducted okay so bihar for this question is the right answer coming to the next which wo, uh, what was the child sex ratio this is some interesting question they are giving more specifically to the child sex ratio uh, child sex ratio means the age group of 0 to 6 year this is very difficult one like we have seen the normal sex ratio that is 940 but the child sex ratio if you consider it is 914 okay it is 914 you should uh, remember coming to the next uh, which union territory had the highest literacy rate according to census 2011 like we have seen the state wise uh, like kerala was the highest and in the union territory wise uh, out of this if you see you can simply ignore chandigarh and delhi Pe these are the two option and uh, possibly uh, whenever you got stuck up always prefer lakshadweep okay and lakshadweep would be the right answer coming to the next uh, this is again a number wise a very good question the rural population percentage of india means how much percentage of people are living in the rural areas okay so it is 69.1 uh, we uh, have given some other figures uh, okay so more specifically it is 69.1 okay coming to the next what was the urban population percentage in india uh, you can subtract it from the previous question and you will get option c 31.6 okay around uh, it uh, here you cannot uh, make approximation also like in the first pointer i give you approximated value but more specific value would be 31.6 okay that is approximated value student please make underline of it that was approximated value but here it is exact value okay so generally they will ask uh, approximate value so okay coming to the next which state had the lowest density of population according to 2011 okay lowest density again whenever density comes you should have area and the number of people so out of these you can uh, ignore option number a arunachal pradesh why arunachal pradesh is the right answer yes because you can think like that it is uh, on the like uh siachen area so it is uh, not siachen it uh, not exactly siachen it is on uh, you can say it is in, uh, like most of uh, the occupied uh, mountains and other uh, geographical barriers are there so because of which uh, you can see people are living uh, uh in uh, means you, you, they don't have uh, like space there okay so they are more, mostly widely spread okay so arunachal pradesh was the right answer coming to the next which state had the highest density of population according to census 2011 like highest density i already told you earlier it was west bengal and now it's bihar bihar is again uh, making a top in the highest density okay okay so that's it so we have seen uh, almost 20 mcq and the important pointer related to census 2011 and uh, i hope uh, some of the question uh, might come in your exam uh, that is going to happen uh, in the next cases so if you have anything to say you can write in our comment box we will be very happy to answer your questions thank you for watching have a nice day